Hi, or welcome to my channel, Sister with a Purpose, where I give you multiple. <laughs> I give you uplifting, not multiple, but shit, I may need to give you multiple, huh? Uplifting motivational messages and let you know what's going on. So, how you doing? Thank you so much, brothers and sisters, my retirement family and crew. Thank you for fucking with me. And I'm um, coming back to another video. For my new subscribers, how y'all doing? Thank you so much for subscribing. Let's jump right in and get the messages out. I would like to say thank you for supporting the channel as well. All right. Thank you, Most High, Divine Lords, Divine Guides, as well as High Self. Hallelujah, Shay. Let's go ahead and jump right in and see what you need to know. From the Everyday Tarot, and then I'm going to pull some other messages, depending on what Divine Spirit tells me to do. All right, let's see what's going on. What is the Divine Collective needs to know? All right, there is the message right there. Then we have the Ten of Swords, an ending, a painful ending or betrayal. Uh, at the top of the deck, let's see what's going on. Then we got the world. Goddamn. Then we got the hangman. So someone feels stuck to a particular ending. The Queen of Swords. Ooh, we, we all like her cutting. The Strength and the fucking Four of Cups. Oh, girl, you done done. That's what I just heard. Dun 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 dun. dun. Who mentioned Bankhead? Then acknowledge me. So some of y'all could be from Bankhead, Atlanta, Georgia. I don't know why. <laughs> why that just came up? But we do have the numbers twelve and twenty one. So three three. Okay. Um, that could be of significance. Twelve twenty one. Something could have happened December twenty one that um confirmed a complete ending and left another person stuck. And there could have been something that transpired on March 3rd or will be transpiring on March 21st. As I had already spoken to you about, some of you all do believe in the start of... Is there something about this already? That's some bullshit. But some of you all may um, do believe in the start of um, the new year on March 21st so you could be celebrating or doing something significant or calling in some form of abundance for that particular day you have the strength to do so so you're being divinely guided to do just that okay there could be a leo or a pisces or a capricorn as well as a cancer feeling um a little bit upset from a gemini libra aquarius energy could feel like this person has been stiff on their um, love, their advances. Okay, you could be any of these signs or embodying that Queen of Swords energy to any of the signs that I had named. Uh, yeah, this person feels stuck to an ending. They feel that they can't come and communicate anything to you because they fucked up, I've heard. I just heard that they fucked up. Um, they walked away to a third party and now they no longer want to um, sit with the third party. They don't want to associate themselves with the third party anymore. They feel stuck to this third party. They feel tied and bound, but they want to end a cycle with this third party. And this third party is like, oh, my dead body, bitch. I'm not for sure why I just got that, but I did get that. This third party feels that it's a success for them to have them for some reason. They feel like they are the victor if this person stays in their energy or their presence or um, stays away from you as far as not being able to um, reach you or uh, penetrate anything within your heart space because the only heart card we have out here is the four of cups which is someone who's turning down offers and contemplating their love and i feel that you may be in this energy you're putting the strength behind not being stuck you don't want to be stuck to any karmic cycles this is why you don't mind ending it. This is why you don't mind speaking your peace and your truth. You remember what card did I show you in the beginning of the video while I was talking? The Ace of Swords. I feel that this Queen of Swords is holding the Ace of Swords. This is why she is in the Four of Cups as well. And when I say she, I do mean you. Or if you are masculine, you can switch roles and, and claim it as a he. Now, masculines, I want you to know that I... Speak to my divine feminine energy for those of you all who are new because they make up the majority of my channel. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and jump right in and see what we need to know from the, um, oh, beautiful. From the um, Telltale deck. We have 1111 and I spoke about 1111 in the previous video. So, this card talks about you being special, you being loved, 
and you need to feel gratitude for possibility because there's a possibility that could be oh shit as i cut the deck we have 10 10 good news is here time to celebrate this is absolutely beautiful i mean not beautiful for the person who may feel stuck but it's beautiful for you because you have the ability to manifest at a rapid rate and um because you're being grateful because you're being grounded because you're loving yourself and you're putting up that strength and you're going within to your spirit guides so you could be a leo dealing with a virgo or you could be a virgo or you could have a virgo rising moon sun okay it could be anywhere in your chart but virgo someone who's in, oh shit you got that i just got i just caught it the divine said that you are being seen as a virgo even if you're not as a virgo um rising or sun sign it doesn't matter the fact that you are being critical of your love options, the fact that you're having the strength to analyze and overanalyze those karmic connections is what's making your Virgo, uh, your whatever Virgo is in that house, they fucked up, okay? Say, for instance, if you have Virgo in your seventh house, the seventh house talks about partnerships. If you got Virgo in your seventh house, whoever you are partnered with, no matter plutonic, romantic, it don't matter, professional, if they've been fucking up, they have now fucked themselves. Because you are now standing your ground. You're having the strength to remain detached away from anything that is going to keep you stuck. You're closing out cycles. For you, this is the season to do so. Okay? Yeah, this season. And I'm here for some of you all. Some of these motherfuckers got a deadline. March 21st. <laughs> Hell yeah. Banish this person. Okay, if you feel that you need to do it, you know, and this is for the this message is for those who it resonate with. So don't take the message if you feel that it doesn't resonate for you. But you may have felt that you were under spiritual attack from this person at one particular time. This is why you gained the strength and clarity to um end out a cycle with they ask because you like this person is attacking me spiritually. I can feel it because you went within. Virgos don't play no games. Virgos gonna analyze the fuck out whatever they need to analyze. They're going to organize it. They're going to be detailed. They're going to make sure they know what the fuck they need to know to get whatever they need to get done. Okay? So you probably, if you have children, then you need to pray over your children. If you don't, then you need to pray over yourself. Because this person was trying to open up some type of childhood wounds that could have been persistent in you if you had um, experienced something during your childhood. Okay? Or this person could have just been trying to stop and block your um, inner child. Your ability to have intuition and create from a source of purity. Yeah, this person was trying to covet your blessings or coveting your blessings. All right. Regretting, what, is, what did I say before I get rid of that? Regretting the spell work attempts. Yeah, moon magic. Oh, wow. Is there anything else we need to know concerning this? And then, you know, um, I will pull, I'm going to pull some from my lowdown deck too. Yeah, this person could have been trying to attack your third eye. Yeah. And they didn't want you speaking the truth as well. So I feel like they tried to attack your throat chakra too. Because the blue is here twice. You need to banish this person spiritually. Okay. And you've already said what you need to say to get rid of their ass in the physical. Okay. This is someone who, this is long overdue. So if you are in your thoughts and mind, like, oh, should I do it? Maybe this is not the person. But for those of you all who you know you had to cut a motherfucker off, this is that person, okay? You had to banish this person because they were trying to spiritually attack you. Do not confront this demon. This person may have or is under a spiritual attack themselves through a demonic entity attachment, all right? Never mind the hate. Hell yeah, they are. Look at this shit. They owe darkness and got to pay up. But they ain't about to pay up with you. What the fuck they thought it was. Emotional turmoil. So this is why they were regretting the mom manipulation and the tactics and the spell work. It's whatever they thought they was going to do to have you stuck. To have you in the fact that you were the queen of swords with the strength. Whatever they thought they were going to do. Heck. I'm hearing uh, the lie detector determined that was a lie. They can't have you stuck. They can only be stuck. They're stuck. They're stuck to wherever they um, think that they weren't stuck at. Wherever they thought they had free will, I'm hearing they don't have free will. They have given up their free will. 
Okay, let's go ahead and get some more. And then this person wanna start over with you, so for romantic or um friendship wise, this person does wanna come in and start over with you. Girl, let's go ahead and get that. I wasn't gonna get it, but I'm gonna go ahead and get it. We have, I was wearing a mask at the top of the deck. And then it says, girl, yes, an uncurable STD. This, this is probably why this person is in emotional turmoil. But let's read this card. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They know what's popping. I only play myself for hating her. Damn, my practitioner warned me. They said I was wrong going against you. So, yeah, this person tried to outsource some form of um, being able to create some blockages. Didn't I say they were, you were under a spiritual attack by this person? They tried to stop your throat. They tried to stop your third eye. Block this person ASAP. Came out again. With banish this person. Somebody needs to hear this. This is the message of urgency. Block and banish this person. Their practitioner had already warned them. Or whoever they went to. To perform some form of ritual. They already warned them. And this person was only your friend to learn and steal from you. God damn. It could be your own parents. Karmic parents. Or this person could have karmic parents. Trying to come in and befriend you so they can learn from you. It could be you can have karmic parents that want to, want to uh, start over with you in some type of way. But I'm hearing if you have children and you have karmic parents, you need to pray over your children. Because these karmic parents are probably trying to send you some form of evil eye to wish that you repeat a generational curse that they had to go through with you. That you've completed and closed out and moving forward. And they're jealous about that. Oh wow. Okay, look, this is it. This is all we're doing. Let's go ahead and get an outcome card and then we're gonna close this up. I keep hearing say what you need to say. So for some of you all, you haven't you haven't spoken spoken your truth, but I'm hearing that you will. All right, okay. Ooh, I apologize if uh that shuffle is loud. Like I say, some big ass cards for my hands. But they're absolutely beautiful. I love them. So, yes, yeah, death to the situation. You know? This person was... I, I feel like this little birdie... I feel like whoever this... Uh, for the current parent and this friend that tried to steal from you. Whoever they were. They were someone... They were listening to a dark entity. that was, And they were trying to cause some type of ending for you. And they ended up causing it for themselves. Yeah, and if you were in a romantic relationship, yeah, this person, this person ended up calling in a karmic attachment to themselves. We got the seven of pentacles with the page of cups as the outcome card. So you're tending to your investments. You're reaping what you sow, which is creative downloads and intuitive downloads from your higher self, from your spiritual team. That's allowing you to move forward. It's like you parting. You know that I'm saying about Moses being able to part the Red Sea. It's like you're parting your sea of emotion. And you're transmuting that. And you're going within and you're um, nurturing it for abundance. Abundance of yourself to be anchored, to be centered. In the perspective of manifesting on your material plane. So that you won't have to feel that you need someone. Because you know you only need you. You only need source. Whoever you deem as source. Alright, Divine Collective. This is all I have for you. Divine Family, I hope you enjoyed this video. And until next time, I'll catch you in your next one. Ashe, be well. Bye.